All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants... Opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to upscale love for you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. We're getting it together. We had a little technical difficulties, but that's okay. We are here to play. And this evening, we are going to get started with a good conversation tonight. We are going to talk about mm, our, we're in a relationship. Why do you tell lies? And if you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. I am yours truly, Dr. Fabulous. And with fur without further ado, I'm gonna slide it over to you, Lady T. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm so excited about tonight. It is going to be on fire. I'm coming live from the 305, but I'm presently in the 850. Welcome, Tallahassee. Um, so let's get it started. All right. Now for you, I'm calling on the one and only Special K. Are you ready, Special K? Yes, I'm here. Good evening, everyone. So this oh, is Special good K. Good evening. Yes, one, this is Special K. Um, I'm one-fourth of the Upscale Love for You crew. I'm coming to you from the charming city of Savannah, Georgia. And I just want to say thank you to all who were turned in tonight for tantalizing talk. And just get your sips ready, whatever that may be, and let's have some grown-up conversation tonight. All right. And, and over to Nancy J. Hey, Nancy J., are you with us? Okay, so I'm going to roll on over to the one and only Dr. Feelgood. Dr. Dr. Feelgood with the real wood, doing it like a grown man should. should. Coming to you live to from, the, live the, from the, the bottom of the one where I'm having fun. You might hear the echo. I might, you might say hear the echo. I might say twice, twice but I'm still as nice. Now back to you, Dr. Fab. All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome once again to Upscale Love for You Tantalizing Talk on Thursday nights. You can catch us on Zoom. And please, please, please go over to YouTube. Check us out there. Like us and share us. And you know, we're trying to get there. So please, please, please subscribe. So let me tell you a little bit about Upscale Love. And what we're here to do, Upscale Love is formulated to entertain, educate, and facilitate self-help, self-love, and anything you wish and want to know about mm, love and relationships. So if you're interested in talking about some hot conversation, by all means, tune in for Tantalizing Talk. We are here to uncover hot topics and sensitive issues from tales of singleton to parenthood, everything you can think of in between. Whether you're actively seeking directions or looking for a way just to pass the time or looking for good conversation, guess what? Upscale Love for You is here. And like I said, tonight we are going to talk about relationships and why people lie in relationships. And I'm just going to start it off with a old quick poll. Have you ever, ever, and I know all my people on the board is honest and they don't do this, but have many of you ever told a little white lie when dealing with the relationship? If you have, put a one up in the chat section because you know, I know sometimes you might have to tell a lie to get by in one situation or another. So if you have, put a one and don't be shamed. Share with us. 
because this is the way we're going to start this conversation off tonight about should you lie or should you actually tell the truth? Sometimes the truth can truly hurt when it comes to a relationship. And so with further, with no further ado, all the way from the sugar city, we're going to turn it over to Special K with what she got to say about telling the truth or telling a lie in a relationship. K is all on you. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Fabulous. So my take on this is I think men and women lie because it's just easier sometimes. And many of us just may feel that the other person just truly can't handle the honest truth. But at some point, in everyone's life, we all, I believe, have lied at some point or another. That's just the way of life. That's just how it goes. Now, for me personally, I prefer the truth at this point. Um, and I, I prefer the truth, the honest truth, so that I can know which, which way to go with the information. And this will allow me to make my own choice on how to deal with it. Because when you start thinking and you believe in one thing, and then you just find out a whole nother thing or a whole nother situation and that you've been lied, have been being lied to the whole time that that's hurtful right there. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then a lot of times once, you know, the lies are uncovered, um, that breaks a lot of trust in relationships and it's hard to fully recover and bounce back from that. So my question tonight is, um, how to be honest? How can you be honest? Oh, can't let me say this. Can you be honest and not hurt someone's feelings? Like, is that even a real thing? Can you be honest without hurting someone's feelings? Okay. Um, upscale love panel, panelist. Can you be honest and tell the truth without hurting? your mates or your partner's feelings. Does anyone have any thoughts on that or would like to share or answer that question? Leanne, I know you're ready. Mr. Beard, Good what evening. about- Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, sometimes the truth hurts and I think it's more or less the way you say it. Um, for example, I'm going to use the breath for an example. Say you, say you just met a person. I'm not going to go with someone that you are already with because it's easier when you're with them. But someone you just met, you pray that you have um, gum or mint where you, um, you take it first and say, oh, would you like a piece of gum or a piece of mint? The thing is, if they say no, I'm going to say, well, I don't know what it is you ate, but you might want to freshen up a bit. I, I don't know how nice you can say to someone that their breath is stink, but try to put it in the terms of I'm not saying you stink, but your breath, you know, needs to be freshened up. So I offered you to go. That's after you turn me down. So. Okay. So what so you're saying, I, Leanne, I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. You're going on. Let's, let's picture this because we're going to visualize it. You're on your first date with someone that you met for the very first time. Uh -huh. Do you think you would be that brutally honest to tell them that their breath stink? Or would you? suffer through that night of that date until you get to know this person just a little bit better because you know everyone may not be that person that will under or handle handle you telling them about their breath so do you think it would be in your best interest to just go ahead and tell them on your very first date or like I said suffer through that date until you get to know this person a little better to fill them out. 
Okay, I don't plan on suffering, so I'm going to have to tell you yes, but I'm going to try to put it as nicely as possible. Like, what did you eat before you hooked up with me, before you got here, or whatever? I don't want to suffer and not let them know because the second date is going to be worse. I mean... So, so that's why I have a question, because, keyword when you're saying that it's the first date and the breath is that bad... I mean, would you even want to do a second date? I mean, with that, because I feel like sometimes it, I, I feel like it's not what you say, it's how you say it. But in that, you know, situation that you're saying, if it's the first date, honestly, I may not, I don't think I would probably tell them to be honest, but I probably more than likely I would not, there would not be a second date because that's just going to be a deal breaker for me. So that would just be that. But I think what the topic is being more like, like if we're in a relationship, then I think at that point, you're more comfortable with the person and, you know, you can kind of be a little more, di you can be more direct of your thoughts and what you want to say to them. But on a first date, now, if they call back and wonder why you didn't, you know, maybe answer the call again or something. Yeah, at that point, I may tell them, but. But, but, but wait a, a minute, but is it, <laughs> is it fair if they ate something? What if I just ate, um. What if I ate a piece of fish and we go on for a walk or something like that or the, to a concert and I ate the fish on the way? I'm just I'm just hypothetically speaking. Yeah. And I well, ate the fish on the way and you like, well, you're going to have to freshen up. That's me <laughs> appreciating him telling me. I'm going to say, you know what? Yes, I had some fish. It was so good, I forgot to pull out my gum. I'm pulling it out now. That's if he was to approach me with right. my breath. So what if you that. just had some gum and, well, I mean, I don't know if you would just have gum on hand, but if you did, I mean, yeah, you could offer him a stick of gum. But usually when people have bad breath and it's recurring, like it's an issue, their breath, it normally doesn't smell. Like you kind of know, to me, I kind of can distinct between if it's a food that was just eating and with somebody who's like really has just bad chronic bad breath, halitosis, halitosis. right? Yeah, or, or, you know, or, or, right. Could be, or could be bad by high, bad hygiene as well. Yeah, and if you, you have a lot of tooth in your mouth, your breath is gonna be be bad. Yeah, but do you know that a person that needs to have a detox also can carry a breath situation going on? So for I'm, this is just me. The first time a person you go out with or whatever, and they have that bad breath, you offer them that piece of mint or whatever, and then you can go try them a second time. But you know, if you go that second time around and it's the same issue, you know that it's something from within, or as you say, the hygiene. So I don't know if I would just write them off for the very first time because we're going to try this one more time. You know, like you say, second time around, we're going to really see. So Leanne says, it. no, Dr. K says it's the way in which you present it to someone. But I don't care how sweetly you say it, and you tell someone that their breath is not the freshest, they may just feel some kind of way. So, but Dr. Fabulous, don't you think a person is showing an age that you know that how they their breath smell like? If you're I you're not like a teenager. It, it, you're, I you're, think you're, it's you're tone. I think tone is everything. Mm -hmm. It is, but a lot of people are being very sensitive, and I don't think that's a sensitive topic. Like, or your mom. Okay. So I don't know if everybody knows that little lick the back of the hand trick, let it dry and smell it. <laughs> if you if you think that you're walking around with a little tartness, try that, everyone. That's a key from Dr. Fabulous. Lick the back of your hand, you know, a little saliva, let it dry. And do you know how ladies you walk through and they spray your little hand for you to get that whiff? I guarantee you. If you do that, you smell it, and it smells bad, that means that you have that tartness on the tongue. And we must learn to brush, floss, and also brush the tongue. So with that being said, Thank you for the hygiene. <laughs> uh-huh. Would anyone else? We had a female to say how she would approach that situation. Do we have a male? 
on board that would like to say if they've ever been in that type of situation where a woman had bad breath or whatever and how you did it or how you handled it. Is there anyone, Mr. Beard, are you available? Yes, ma'am, I'm here. Okay, Special K had that question for you. Special K? So the question, um, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, do you think you can, how can you be honest and not hurt someone's feelings and, you know, telling them something honestly? But I want to hear more from a, a standpoint of a relationship, not a first date scenario, if possible. I can't okay. So, okay, I'll give you an example. So your lady comes to you and say, hey, how do I look in this dress tonight? This is your lady and she doesn't look good to you or the dress is not flattering to her. It maybe is not good for her body size or shape. How do you, I mean, do you just bluntly say, no, nah, that doesn't look good. It makes you look big. No. Or is there a way that you would approach it? You know, so that's that's what I'm saying. The difference between telling the truth, being brutally honest. You know, can you be honest with someone without hurting, you know, with, with uh, without hurting their feelings or paying attention to their feelings at the same time? I think when it comes to outfit, it could be a person if they feel like trying to work on the way to lose weight. And you tend to look fat and it may hurt their, their, their feelings and discourage them from working on their uh, diet plan. So if say, hey, babe, you look good at Well, most time you'd be lying, but you tell them to boost their weight, confidence or their self esteem. Their, their feelings and discourage them from working so, on yeah. their uh, diet plan. So if say, hey, babe, you look good at Well, most time you'd be lying, but you tell them to boost their yeah it's a feedback okay. that's so that's exactly my question and you're answering it perfectly like is there a, so the, so in your opinion there's a way that you can be honest with someone but you know maybe like you said um how talk, lady t said your tone or what you say is sometimes how you say it not what you say without hurting their feelings because in my opinion i would think that you could say maybe something it would come across better if you say well, um, you know, there's a dress that I see you in and I like this dress better. Why don't you put that on tonight? You know, something like that. I mean, it just, but I think when you're in a relationship, you get to know you, you already at this point of knowing your partner. So you pretty much know what probably which can triggers them and, you know, and doesn't. You and, that's know. Why, and that's why sometimes you omit some certain key details and just don't say it because they tell the truth, it may create attention or a problem right and that's what i believe that's probably why a lot of people do lie because it's just easier sometimes they i don't, don't, I don't like the word i don't like the word lie just say omit or fabricate or you know lie just like a, jackson they lie they lie <laughs> that's, that's what it is they omit they fabricate they like you know do i look fat no you look perfect babe. you know you're a 10 but like hey no you, no 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 you, no you're lying, and then when she go out but, with her friends or whatever, then she at the club or whatever, and um, they're saying, "Girl, you know she shouldn't have wore that out." Right Come in on that now. yeah, in but that if situation, it's something, if, 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 if something too extreme, but here what happened, though, right? That if, like, for example, like I try to give my wife confidence all the time, right? Okay, if I don't give her confidence, somebody out there, like the, like in in an outfit, she gonna say, "Why ain't tell her that she look good in an outfit?" Make sense? So sometimes you want to be the first to give because you ain't got the body shape. You had to you had to be honest. But okay, but why would you be honest? And it, it honest when it could say keeping it real going too far. But well, see, wait, want... you gotta say the tone. The tone is everything. Oh, baby, you know, you look good in dress, but I right. think more of a like a line shape would fit you, or you know, a little shorter, longer, whatever. You yeah, know, just, I would want okay. you can My... smooth it over. I would want my significant other to be honest with me about that. Don't let, please don't let okay. me go out here looking all messed up in okay. any kind of way. Just tell me because what okay. looks good to me, you know, you're looking at me from the outside in is versus me looking at me. And if it's something that's just not flattering and just doesn't look good, I would rather you tell me than me step out and, you know, and someone else I agree. tell me. Or, I agree with what you're saying, right? Okay. Okay. I have a, a, a scenario, a friend of mine, right? She's, um, not built like Kim Kardashian, right? She's like petite. 
but her husband like the wait a minute i'm gonna stop you right there nasty j why it had to be kim kardashian why couldn't it be dr fabulous because everybody can't get a coca-cola bottle like dr fabulous big in the hip just got it together we're gonna leave we're gonna leave where Kim Dr. is at. Fabulous. She don't have all the thickness you have, baby. Oh, so it's okay. okay. Is that yeah, what it is? Okay. So, yeah. That's what so, it is, honey. So the, yeah, husband, the, husband, so the husband, like, think Kim K is attractive, but the wife thinks Kim K is, 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 is all made up. It's just fake. We and all say, hey. do. Most of us, if you don't yeah, know but, what I'm talking about. Yeah, but men are look, men looking at the more visual part. So I was explaining mm -hmm. to her, hey, you know, she didn't understand why the husband think Kim K is attractive. And despite her body counts or whatever she's going through, the man overlooked that, right? Mm -hmm. And he was saying, well, she would, what she got, uh, Brazilian butt lift, you know, all the extra uh, uh, surgery. And she was uh, offended by it. So when he's telling the truth, is a problem. And he didn't tell the truth, you know what I'm saying? So is he wrong for saying, hey, babe, we think she have surgery? I mean, surgery. Surgery is just a, a general question. We all know people doing things, but yeah, but I the, mean, his I, wife, I the, the wife felt offended. She felt she felt offended by it. You know, she felt offended. But how did you say it? I can it's understand that because you know what, she could go and get that body surgery, BBL. whatever, and guess what, she could die on the table, and I'm sure he would feel really, really <laughs> bad. So yeah, what can't uh-uh-uh-uh, we're going to bring it back tenfold. He wants her to have surgery, and she doesn't want the surgery. So, okay, she said, well, I'm going to break on down, and I'm going to do it for my man. And then she don't make it back through under the knife when he could have just accepted her for who she was. It That's is right. Amen, Dr. Amen. But, 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 Dr. Fab, but you wanted to be honest. So when, when the guy was honest, it created a problem. So uh, what? how should he handle the situation, though? Well, my whole thing is when you're in a relationship with someone, mm -hmm. sometimes you you got to take the good with the bad. That's she may right. not have, she may not have that dome. She may not have that junk in the trunk. He had yeah. to look for another attribute that that she has okay. to, you know, suffice for the situation. Okay. Because he he liked her enough to marry her. Yeah, yeah something caught his attention. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. So for someone to ask someone to have surgery, you know, that's, if they were both in agreement, fine. Because women do it all day long. Yeah. If they are not in agreement, that's just like Danny telling me to go have a breast reduction. And I like having a D cup, but he want me to go down to a bar. Danny say no. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. Totally agree. All right. So, so in regards anyone to anyone else? We, as I mentioned earlier, our last Sunday, well, an email to Flora Divine. She got it. Okay. If you are talking and you have noise going on in the background, please mute yourself for us. Thank you. Is there anyone, Danny, you got something to say about that being honest when it comes down to telling your mate exactly how you feel the brutal, honest truth? Um, I'm straight, no chaser. I ain't not candy coating it, but I'm not going to say it in a harsh way. Okay, so... You're with Lady T and Special K with the way you say it and your tone. Okay, let, Special let, K. Let me rephrase that. Now I wouldn't say it in a harsh tone. Back then, yeah, I ain't care. But now, yeah, people got feelings. Oh, okay. Now, remember, you got feelings too because if you was doing something and you thought you was really doing well and she said, hey, babe, you're not doing it the way you need to do it. It's not right and I need you to come to the left or bring it to the right, then you got to think about the sensitivity of what you, how you say things to people. What are you talking about, washing dishes? Uh-huh, washing them and drying them. Rotating <laughs> tires too. Oh, okay. Changing tires. 
all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I know you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Special K. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm here. Okay. They waiting on you. Give them what you got. Well, that that was my question for tonight. And oh, so okay. Then special K tonight. So her question was. Oh, you want me to repeat the question? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So, so my um question was how to be honest and not hurt feelings. Is that an actual thing? So we actually, is it possible to be honest with your partner in a relationship, but not hurt their feelings? Like what, what, um, how would you address that? Um, I'm going to call so, on, I'm going to call on, um, Miss Andrine, because, you know, I love to hear her speak. I love her accent. That's Ms. what Andrine. I was thinking too, to call on next. Miss Andrine, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Yes. Um, what was the question? How are you honest without hurting someone's feelings? Yes. Is that a, do you think that's even a possible thing? Can that happen? I think it can, but I feel like it has to deal with how long you've known the person. I think if it's like an initial friendship or an initial relationship, it's hard for, you haven't built up that rapport or that bond yet where you can really be honest without maybe feelings getting hurt. But I feel okay. like once Agreed. you guys are like in a deeper, more kind of like a stronger type of friendship or even relationship, you can be honest. Like you can be honest with your true friends and say, you know, I really don't like that. Or you can say, you know, that really doesn't suit you well, where they're going to take it as your honesty. You're trying to help them from maybe being set up or not looking a certain way. And it won't be where you're trying to hurt their feelings or impact them negatively because they know you have the best intentions for them. But I feel like you have to build that over the relationship. Initially, when you say things, they can come off really harsh depending on the person's sensitivity. But once you have rapport, you have a relationship, a connection to that person, you can be honest with them. And it and it should not. It's I mean, they still might feel a certain way, but they know you have the best intentions for them, so it shouldn't really hurt their feelings. All right. I like that. I like that. Yes, now, thank you. I'm going to come on over here to uh, Marlena White. Marlena White, are you available? <laughs> I am. Okay. So what is your tale on that? Someone being honest with you, how do you handle it um I feel like I handle it well I'm not too sensitive like if I had sometimes when I rush do makeup I have a lipstick on my teeth people tell me that all the time I don't get offended at all or yeah I don't I got thick skin <laughs> okay but how would you tell your okay. partner friend or whatever something and how would you say it that's what i'm asking oh i would say it nicely i'm a i'm a very nice person anyway um i agree with keisha like she said in the chat that it's all about your tone i feel like if i address it in a nice manner i feel like they won't get offended because people are just oversensitive it's all in your tone okay all right. that's all i have to say all right. Well, without further ado, I'm gonna come on over here to Lady T. Lady T, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Dr. Fabulous. So my question tonight is, when a person lie, do you think they lie out of love or do you think they lie because they just don't want to get caught? It depends on what they lied about. Uh, uh uh do they lie out of love or do they lie because they don't want to get caught it shouldn't depend do i, I have any takers i think it depends on the situation because 
some sometimes will create a bigger um yes son it's beautiful yes got a yeah i'm sorry uh it depends on the situation because sometimes it escalate uh Block your screen. Oh, we see naked children. Yeah, I'm RJ, I'm, I'm right back. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> some of us have young children. Some of us got grandchildren. And you know what? We have to do what we have to do because we're going to make tantalizing talk happen regardless if we have to restock in some Benadryl, some Tylenol, <laughs> uh, all no, that good that stuff. Okay. okay? <laughs> so I always tell Lady T, for Christmas, I know what I'm getting her, a whole case of Benadryl. So without further ado, I'm going to ask if hmm, I saw a name come on this board, y'all. I and think I was, like, I was like, wow, I got to hear the voice of Mr. Man Dingo. Can everybody see that name, Mr. I Man Dingo? I sure Dingo? can. And I'm just, you know. With that name in itself, Mr. Mandingo, can you hear Dr. Fabulous? Okay, well, Mr. Mandingo must be silent, y'all. He's shy. He's shy. He does so with, the, with the name like that. I was like, I want to hear how he expressed himself to tell his whomever something well, let's on the serious tip of telling the truth or telling a lie. But nevertheless, we got Nikki in the house. Can you hear me, Nikki? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Good, Good evening. evening. So, so lady, he is going to tell you one more time, because listen, Dr. Fabulous talked so much, the question that went in and out of my system, and I can't <laughs> even remember what it was. Okay. Okay. Okay, Nikki. So the question is, when a person lied, uh, do they lie out of love or do they lie because they do not want to get caught? I think mostly is they don't want to get caught because it doesn't make any sense um, to, to lie unless they just want to hide something or they don't want or they want to avoid an argument. Mm-hmm. So... So you don't think that <clears throat> that person lied because they loved you too much that they didn't want to hurt you? Well, like like the um, gentleman said, it just depends on the situation. Um, especially if I'm if they if my partner knows I'm going through a, a, a rough time, they may just try to the lie to try to make me feel better um that's out of love but with the situation the relationships i've been in um lying just to get out of something or um don't want to have an argument about it they'll just lie to make up something just to to avoid a confrontation that's what i've run into a lot, um in the past okay let's um thank you let's move on down to bridget oh go ahead Dr. quick question do you think that's more like, don't ask, I'm not going to tell. So they really are not lying. They're just not telling what the situation or the circumstances actually happened. Do you think that's part of it? I think that's a lie. When you okay, don't tell so, the whole truth, it's still a lie. Okay, but no, 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 no. It's not, they're not telling you anything because- mm -hmm what they're not doing is they're not saying anything about it unless you ask about it. You understand? Don't mm -hmm. ask. If the person don't ask, you're definitely not going to tell. I mean, to be honest with you, how can you ask something that you do not know? But once you know, I think you should ask. And okay, I think so it doesn't bing, matter. Bing, bing. I don't think nobody is voluntarily going to say, hey, listen, you know, I told you I was going to Walmart, but I really went down the street and around the corner to Susie's house. So that's what I'm talking about. If, right. if they don't know, it's not considered a lie, correct? I'm just asking. I, well, I mean, I agree with that, but that's like 
you go into the store and you meet up with an, you know, old friend and you guys start talking or doing whatever, but then mm -hmm. someone sees you there. Now you're trying to figure out how you can handle that situation. Are you going to go back and tell your spouse or whomever, Hey, I saw Susie at the store, blah, 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 blah. Or are you just going to uh, let it ride out? Okay. And then um, hopefully no one will say anything. All right. Well, Danny had his hand up, but he took it down. Was that by mistake, Danny? Or did you want to? No, I was actually going to agree with you because my ex, long, long, long time ago. All right. Just like you said, if you don't ask and you don't, if you ask me and I don't tell you, you asking the wrong questions. I don't tell you. That's not a lie. I learned mm -hmm. that from her. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I learned that from her. Like you ask, I ask her, where you like, you know, where you going outside? Nothing in like not specific, just outside. Mm -hmm. So I can't. Then that, then I say, were you here? No, I was outside over here. It's like, yeah. See, I see, that. I, it's so called, Danny. It's phraseology. It's in the words. It's in wordplay. Mm -hmm. So Danny, what question should you have asked? For an example, like, okay, I can say I'm listen, going to a friend. I'm not, house. listen, I'm not, I'm not even that type. I'm not the question type. I'm not where you going. I'm not even that type. So once you start acting funny, I know what it is. Mm. Okay. So you learn a lot from her, Danny. It's you like, it's like women do not the incriminate words. themselves. Me they, and they neither. Not. But you know what, Danny? You learn from the best. Even though I can say knock on wood, my husband wasn't a cheater. And, but I learned from how they say my God brothers, my male cousins, my male constituents. So you learn from the very best and the very best is who? Mostly men. Leanne, you had your hand up. Yes, I did. Um, why is there a need to lie? Unless you're doing something wrong. So and it goes back my question no i'm gonna i'm getting ready to say when you you stated that i'm agreeing with you lady t that when you're holding back it is lying because you have not come full circle with it okay but this is what i'm saying and i'm not agreeing or disagreeing what i'm saying is sometimes you're in a situation and you may you you're not lying because no one knows anything no one is asking anything for you to even give a response to for it to be a lie you understand but if the situation occurred and they asked the question it's up to you at that point in time to tell them the truth or to tell them a lie what i'm saying is if they don't know, they don't know. And if they don't ask that right question and you don't feel like you should indulge in telling them exactly, then you just riding on, hey, what they don't know is not going to hurt them. But if they find out, then it's up to you to be a woman enough to say, hey, this is what's happening, X, Y, Z. You got okay. me, Leanne? That's yes, so yes. Yes, oh, I have it. I Danny got something to say. Danny, I'm, listening, have... I'm, I'm well, listening to no. you, Danny. Oh, go no, ahead, Danny. I'm actually, I'm agreeing. Again, I'm agreeing with you because in and, that and situation. Am I, like a fe am I a female Danny? I don't know. I'm a listen, female just like, look, look, I'm, in, I'm, I'm, I'm mirroring Danny. No, 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 listen. In that situation, I would say something like, I ain't lie, I just ain't tell the truth. You asked all lie. the wrong. I didn't lie. You asked all the wrong questions. Oh, okay. You so omitted your question, Danny. Like, like, like what said, is the right question? Okay, I got I got a scenario. I have a scenario. Um, and it happened to me. I had to go to a wedding, um, in Tampa. And I was dating and my friend asked me where I was staying. And I say, oh, I'm staying with a friend. I was actually staying with my ex-husband in his guest room. But I wasn't about to tell him who I was staying with because my ex-husband is my friend. So 
Did I lie? No. I said no, I was. You crying. didn't lie. You just didn't tell the truth. There you go. That's no, 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 no. No, she lied. She just ain't tell the full truth. I okay. told him I was staying with a friend. He didn't okay. ask. He didn't ask what friend. So he didn't. And, he, 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 and that's friend. where Danny is going. Because had he that's asked, what I'm saying. No, had he asked, I would have to tell. Okay, well, but what if, know, he, what if also, something happened right? to you and he, the police was like, oh, where was she? Like, who was she with? What was the address? Be like, oh, That's she, what I'm saying. Had he asked, I would have told him who I was staying with. I feel like you didn't tell the truth because you knew he would have been upset. That's a lie. Correct. No, that wasn't true for me because I didn't care if he was upset. <laughs> no, or not. because you knew. No, you do because you. That's a lie. If you feel like you have to lie or not tell the full truth, you know you're doing something wrong. And I'm not doing anything wrong. Aunt Leanne, but, but, to yes. yourself because you know what? Um, you said you were staying with a friend, but if you felt all honesty in your heart and you said you didn't care about him being upset, you would have said, I'm staying with my ex-husband, but he's my friend still. Mm -hmm. You would put it I, all out. I would table. have, but because the relationship wasn't at that point where I could explain or say anything, when it's new, you really not having that commitment. If I'm in a committed relationship, then you would have told. I would definitely tell. Yeah, because it didn't matter if he said, oh, what friend you staying with? Oh, I'm staying with my baby dad. I'm staying with my ex-husband. I am okay, very I got, honest. I got, I am, no, I, I am a, a very honest person, but I don't have to tell you all of my business. I got a scenario. I got a scenario. Okay. Same thing female told me she all right, she went away who are you going with a friend right now a friend is gay it's, she has a gay friend gay dude that she always be with i don't be trusting the motherfucker they they go they can switch both sides right so anyway <laughs> she tells me i'm going with a friend now again i don't ask questions i don't ask questions she's on a trip it slips up pictures come up i'm like so who who you like i didn't i didn't ask like in my head i'm like wow she just went on the trip with them two. That's not weird. She went with two men. One was gay and the other one wasn't. No. Or you just saw it with two men. Okay, one time. No, this all right, I, it's multiple trips. One time it was just her and the gay dude. Then one time it was the gay dude and his boyfriend who had a fight on the trip. And then they stayed in the same room. It, it's just funny, man. It's, it's, it's funny. That sounds like some menage a to me, but I can't. That's what it sounds like to me, too. That's what it sounds like. If it look like a duck, Danny, and quack like one, you already know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long, 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 long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. That's fine. Long, long so, again, I still didn't get my answer. Do you think it's, do they lie out of love for hurting you? Or do you think they lie because they do not want to get caught? Okay, I'm going to answer. I lie out of love because I don't want to hear your mouth. That's one. And I lie because, you know, you don't want to get caught sometimes. <laughs> okay, 50-50. Yeah. I, okay. I agree with that. Okay. So... The rationale is we do a lot of things out of love. We do a lot of things to try to cover our steps. But most of all, when it all boils down to it, a lie is a lie regardless of what type of situation that you set it up in. Just not to tell the truth, you're still telling a lie. So Danny... If you really love that individual, guess what? You're going to tell them the truth. Because in the long run, when it comes back around and they find out that you were lying or you were lying because you love them, guess what? That love is going to surge into some straight out anger. And well, when, when, when a black woman or any woman get angry over a person that I think the thing that gets me makes my liver quiver the most is when I catch someone in a lie. Oh, Can I say something? 
God. Mm-hmm. Can I say something now? Listen, I was going to say, okay, they know when the woman asks you a question more than one time, they already know. They already so know. Why you don't? So, you, why just don't fast listen, up? Listen, listen, mm-hmm. cause you gotta come with you gotta come with all your facts straight. Oh, you gotta come Again, with some I'm evidence not, now. Yeah, you, you gotta come with all your facts him, straight. I'm not gonna give it to you. You about to make me drop my laptop? That, that, that's what's wrong with people. You always giving them something. Don't give it. If they think something and it's wrong, let them look stupid. Okay. But if they if they got it and they got it, yeah, okay, you got it. But if you don't got it, nah. They never caught you. If they don't no. have their facts but, and they don't have it lined up A through Z, on, on some real, on some real stuff. Catch, huh? So, Danny, you you like shag it. it. It wasn't me. Nah, not even. 80, okay. 80% of the time, right. 80% of the time, I don't do nothing. Somebody will see somebody. Oh, he was here. He was here. Oh, what you was doing? What you? I was chilling. Where is my Anson tonight? That's who I'm looking for. Where is Anson? He would have gave me some real facts. Danny playing around. I ain't playing around. You you gotta you gotta come you gotta come correct. Okay. Okay, so Danny, what are the real questions? What are the questions that a person needs to ask in a situation to where they want to know the truth? Because you said several times they have to ask the right question. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Uh don't ask me where I'm at, who you with. Are you are you, are you, are you banging somebody? Like, see, that's that's a yes or no question. You can't lie. Okay, so you ask yes or no questions. Ask okay. the right question. They might not be they, 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 like, they may not be banging them at the moment. They may not be banging no, them listen, at the moment. Listen, ask questions like that, especially if you don't have your facts together. If you don't have your receipts together, don't come at me. Just ask a general question. I answer yes or no. But Danny, you know us women are very smart. So we may have our facts together, but however, we may say, let me see how much information you're you're going to give me. None. Okay. I'm not giving you none. Okay. Well, I well, guess that's you, 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 know, you ask me a question. You ask me a question, I'm going to answer. It's legit. I'm going to answer. If you come with some made up shit, <laughs> I'm going to play the game with you. What if I have a photo? <laughs> so listen, Pete, Peter Guns is my bro. Like I love cheetahs. You gotta, yeah, you gotta come with some stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, that's good to know, ladies. <laughs> so, you gotta come with, like that. So you got to almost have cheetahs on your case to catch you in the act. I faithfully <laughs> watch cheetahs every Saturday and Sunday, so I'm waiting for some. I'm waiting for somebody to jump out on me. <laughs> Ooh, oh now you God. are. Okay, well, Danny, I don't know how many women. But I ain't doing nothing. Zakaya. Uh uh, wait, wait, wait. Listen, Danny, you done put it on front street because you know this is being recorded. So, ladies, you see who (laughs) it is. That face, he might have more than one. More than one. He was was joking for the views. He was just joking for the views. He was joking for the views. Jackson, don't take up for him. Okay. All right. Zakiya Washington. Nancy, Nancy J. Welcome, welcome. So, so what are your thoughts? Do you think a person lie because they they are afraid of hurting you, or do you think they lie because they do not want to get caught? I feel like they lie because. They oh, you're breaking. They're already up. doing what they're doing. So I feel like you're gonna tell me what I want to hear. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Oh, okay. I was just saying, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just saying I feel like they're gonna tell me what I want to hear at the end of the mm-hmm. day. So if you're so, doing what you're doing, you're not gonna tell me. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna let me know nothing at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You kind of lost me, Miss Washington. <laughs> They went from telling you to not telling you. So how are you going to get to the bottom of it and get the real truth to know whether or not they're telling you a lie or buttering you up with a covered up lie? So (laughs) you you lost me somewhere in there. 
<laughs> You're right about that too. You're right about that too. But I mean, like I said, at the end of the day with, cause I'm going through a situation like that right now as we speak. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, I can, I can ask him multiple questions. Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Like things like that. But at the end of the day, he's not going to tell me anything. I can ask him a million times the same question and he'll tell me no. Mm. So I mean, he's a liar. So, so uh, well, you heard it from the best. Danny says you have to ask the right question. So are you oh. asking the right question? Are you cheating with Probably a not. man? Are you cheating with a woman? Are you um, <laughs> cheating with your best friend? You know, like direct questions. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or a way you could do that is put a tracking device on the vehicle. <laughs> nasty Jackson. Stop it, Nasty uh, Jackson. That is Stop too much. It. I mean, if, if she, that's facts. Remember, what Daddy said, bring the proof, right? The evidence. Baby, bro, Call if you got to go that far, up. if you got to go that far, something wrong with you. Exactly, because yeah. it's not even worth it. it and to all the it. ladies and gentlemen here in Tantalizing Talk, please know your worth because if you got to scrutinize yourself and stoop to that level to put a tracking device on a phone, a car, a shoelace, whatever, honey. It's not even that serious because mm -hmm. what's for you is for you. Mm -hmm. And if one won't do, mm -hmm. the next one will. That's all I'm going to tell you, baby. You're a little too young mm -hmm. to stress your stuff. All right, my people. My people. Amen. 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 Y'all better lift your hands and tell them thank you. Thank you, said Lord. What is, you said what thank is for you is for you, but then at the end of the day, some people don't believe in what is for you is for you. Some people believe in control. Oh, that's Mr. Mandigo. Man, oh, come Mr. on, Mr. Mandigo. Mandigo. <laughs> he finally speaks. <laughs> you finally came through, Mr. Mandingo. Yes, okay. ma'am. So wait a minute. And you <laughs> said that control. Are you saying that the woman wants to be in control? Or yes, ma'am. Oh, so you're saying women. Uh -huh. No, listen. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Mandingo. I can only speak for myself. But a real woman that's confident in herself, she's not looking to be controlled. Because when you're in a relationship, you walk 50-50. And Correct. no one controls right. anyone. Correct. Correct. So what but, I'm saying, but... if she's confident in herself, she's not going to try to control you. Only thing she expects of you is to be who you are, accept her for who she is, and build what you got mm -hmm. going on together. Because Perfect. if you're honest in the relationship and you want something to flourish, if you don't have trust, guess what? That relationship not going anywhere. And it has Island nothing here. to do with control. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So I speak, I speak from the core of the heart because I know what real love look like. I Ooh. was married for what? 28 years. <laughs> and today, mm -hmm. Everyone oh, that's man. here, I'm I'm here tonight holding it up. But today is the actual day that my husband passed five years ago. Today Ooh, is his five-year anniversary. But okay. when I tell yeah. you I was treated like a queen and I knew how mm -hmm. love was supposed to be. Wow. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm that walking testimony. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Mandingo, yeah. if you find a woman that wants to control you and want to know your every move, guess what? She's missing a little tad bit of self-confidence somewhere mm -hmm. in herself, okay? I agree, man. I'm not gonna do that. I that agree. That was a mouthful, Dr. Fabulous. By the fabulous, Dr. Her. Fabulous, that man, the next man you get, gonna, it's gonna be a hard time for the next man you get, girl. <laughs> not necessarily, cause you know what I say? I'm gonna let them be who they are because if you don't let them be who they are, you'll never truly know them. And mm -hmm. I'm looking for a real person. I ain't looking for their, how they say, their representative. Because right. if you try to spin them around a certain way, they're going to always have that representative. But if you let got, them be who they mm -hmm. truly are, mm -hmm. then you'll see the true, true. I got a question you for me? you, man. 
You you Ooh. got a question for Dr. Favis? Oh, yes, okay. ma'am. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, then. So you say you're looking for that next big lick, right? And you're looking for that next guy that's supposed to be able to allocate the things that, you know, automatically, like you said, you know, if a person is self-confident, then they're not looking for control. I'm looking for quality time. I'm looking to share that experience. They're open to expressing like themselves to the fullest. Mm -hmm. So okay. my, my main question to you now with that said, because mm -hmm. I, I heard you with you 28, so I'm 21, but I got- No, 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 baby, I'm years. not- no, I'm not 28. Ooh, I'm thinking no, no, no. you're 20, giving me that compliment. 28 years of marriage. 28 oh, years okay. of marriage. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I got I got 21 years of marriage, just three different occasions. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's the man dingo Call right there. You know, dingo. that dingo speak for me. <laughs> so, oh. with that said. Okay, now, wait, 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 well, Mr. Right. Man dingo. That... Let me stop you in your tracks. You did it three times around. Something you're not doing right, because if you had doing it right, you wouldn't have that many times, but okay, we're going to bring it on back. Come on, Mr. Mandingo. I'm waiting for your question so I can help you out. <laughs> oh, did I shut him down? Oh, where you at, Dr. Mandingo? He said, Oh, I gave him Doc. I meant Mr. <laughs> I oh, thank you. Shut Lord. him down. Oh, Mr. Damn Mandingo, where are you? Danny, Danny, see, I'm telling you, you got to wake up early in the morning to get down with Dr. Fabulous. Mm. Okay, Mr. Mandingo, where all, are you? First of all, that dude you was explaining, you was talking about me, baby. I already know. Let me be myself, who I am. I'm crazy. I know you talking oh, about me, baby. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, Mr. Danny. All right, Mr. Danny. So, ladies and gentlemen, all of this here thing about controlling this and that and the other. Guess what? Everybody in this room are adults. And the mm -hmm. only people you can control these days are what? Your children. And some people can't even control their children because I work with them every day. Yourself. And I say, honey, who your mama? Who your daddy? But I won't go there. But nevertheless, always allow an adult to be an adult. Because when you start mm -hmm. trying to do the control mechanism, it's always going to fail. Now I'm going to turn it on back over mm -hmm. to Lady T so she can pass it on to Dr. Feels so good. But okay, Lady T. Thank you so much, Dr. Fabius. I just love you. All Thank right. You, you know, I yeah, want to hear I, from I, Eduardo. Eduardo, are you there? Hello. Eduardo might speak a little Spanish. Anybody fluent in Spanish on here? Eduardo, I see your messages. I want to hear your voice. First off, I need Spanish, but close enough anyways. Oh, okay. Okay, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Well, first off, that's a good note to start on or so, but I admire for you for trying to say if I speak in Spanish or so. I give you props for that. Okay, I'm oh. poquito, poquito Spanish, not much. You mean, you, mean, you mean pequeño? No, my students told me it was poquito. But Chico means small for a person. Right. Small. I'm not exactly for a sure. I'm not fluent. You, My you first say language is poco? English. Call it apples to, or, apples to oranges or so. Some places will say that. Other places will say it the way I said it as well, too. So it's apples to oranges. Okay. Gotcha. Pears to peaches. And we're going on. Eduardo. Hello. Hello. Okay, Hello. what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are, well, you're talking to the wrong guy right now. I'm just listening and I'm, I'm, and I'm hearing from words of wisdom right now. So I'm not going to talk unless it's something productive. So feel free. Okay. Right. Well, thank you for the insight. It's, it's, insight. Nothing insult, it's nothing insulting by it or so. It's just that because. No, I said no. insight. Oh, insight. Okay. No, yeah. no, no. It's no, it's no, it's no disrespect or so. I'm, I'm all ears okay. and listening of words of wisdom right now. And if I got something, then I'll definitely speak up. All, all right. right. Thank you. And welcome. Welcome. And don't let okay. this be the last time. 
Wait, someone said, this, Dr. don't let Phil, this be your last time? I say, and don't let this be your last time because you know what? Every Thursday in Tantalizing Talk, we talk about everything. We don't just talk about sex. We talk about everything under the sun that can complete a relationship, make the relationship work. And most of all, we want everyone to focus on a good relationship. Some people have relationships and they're not good. So that's what we're trying to bring together here. Good relationships where they can build and make it work. Okay. So without further ado, we're going to bring to you the one, the only Dr. Feel So Good. Are you with us, Dr. Feel Good? Mm, we got a whole okay all yes, right okay so listen let me tell you um the question was asked about when you lie do you lie because hey, you're doc, I'm here you you here okay yeah, I just okay. Gotta, um the biggest thing is i got, I got different mics, mics. okay so I, I was gonna cover why we lie. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we lie to spare other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we lie to be malicious. Sometimes we lie to deceive. Um, a biggest problem is that the truth is not always pleasant. The truth is not always comfortable. So we tell lies to make feel okay. Um, my problem with lying is when for example, when women go out to the club, you know, you know, she look like a squeeze tube, a toothpaste, but you let her go out anyway. <laughs> she ain't got no, <laughs> you know, um, or you talking to your, you talk with your significant other. Do I look fat in this dress? If you got to ask, you know, the, you know, the answer and the guy's going to be like, nah, baby, you look okay. Inside he like, Come on now, you know the, you know I can't say, tell you that you fat. That you what times, now, Doctor Feel Good? What was that last statement? That you're what? <laughs> I said your significant other. Your significant other. If he's if he if you asking your significant other, do I look fat in this dress? You already know the answer. You just want to see if he going if he going to tell you those sweet lies or he going he going to tell you that hard truth. Okay. If he wants, if he wants to get some of that love, love, he gonna tell, he gonna tell that sweet lie. So we have to look at it like this: some lies do serve a purpose, but overall, it always hurts the person that's being lied to, because there are people that have been lying so long they got to keep up with those lies, and those lies got to stay with those lies. You got to remember every lie, and from what I understand. I, I say I always say women invented the FBI and CSI. Go ahead, Lady T. So, Doctor Feelgood, my question is: When when is it okay to lie? When you got a a lot of times, it's really never okay to lie. But sometimes, if you just want to not argue, you are gonna say a lie. Yeah, I, I picked up the trash. Trash, trash overflowing. Yeah, I picked up the trash. You don't want to argue, but some, but you might go back and lay there and fix it. But at the time, you just got to say, no, no, I don't want. Do I want to argue? Do I want an argument? A forty-five minute talking to? You gonna say no? I didn't. I didn't do it. Your kids do it. I, everybody who has a everybody in here who has a child understands what I'm talking about. Did you clean your room? Did you take that bath? Did you walk the dog? Did you take the chicken out? Yeah, but when you are in a relationship, when is it um, okay to lie? Because if you lie to, okay, the if you lie dress. to me, you're hurting me. So, you know, I feel like it's never okay to lie. Sometimes, you know, being honest does hurt, but I would rather for you to be honest with me than to lie. Oh, oh no, you have a point. Well, like I said, guys are going to say fat dress or a woman's lie to a man to not hurt his feelings is, ooh, baby, that felt so good. 
Cause y'all know sometimes do do be be not doing it, but you want him to get it over with. So you just be like, yeah, baby, I'm done. Thank you. Knowing knowing dang well he was a three hump chump. <laughs> so we do we do lie to each other. It's not a it's not is it right? No. But if you want peace in your house, sometimes you just gotta say stuff just to get past it. So it, it's not a, you know, a big lie would be, it's your baby. A small lie would be, that color looks okay on you, knowing they look like a, like a big yellow blimp, a busted bag of biscuits. That's that's charter roots. So you gonna say, listen, yeah, you look all right. You look all right. Feel good. I'm going to jump in here because I'm a plus size diva and I work every inch of me. Check this out. If you already know that you are a plus size woman and you're with your significant other, you don't have to ask him how you're looking in a dress because you see yourself before you put it on. And I'm sure if you're if that's your significant other or your partner, he's seen every Pillsbury dough roll you got. So that's Agreed. when you know that you're comfortable with an individual because I used to always say, it, you know when you're comfortable with a man because you walk like everything is all in place. And when a man is comfortable with a woman, he will do the same thing because if you're not comfortable with one another, what's going to happen? Y'all people been, people been together a million years and still some feel uncomfortable telling people stuff because I don't think I don't think he was talking about the big big women. I mean not right. the big let me not say it like that. But you know, the the regular so called petite women, you know, that eat too much with the pot bellies and the beard bellies. That's what we was talking about. He was talking about you, baby. You sexy baby. You sexy. I already know. I already know. Let me but that's, but what I, what I'm saying is is that if you, you know, if you if you come in there, and this is me, if you come in there with green hair, talking about do I look good if I want some booty, I'm gonna say, yeah, you look all right. But it's I'm like, what the hell what the hell wrong with her? But if that's your significant other, you mean to tell me you're not gonna tell her the truth, babe. Listen, that's not complimenting your skin tone. Um, let's try something else. Okay. Now, now here's now here's what it here's here's what I here's what I say. Sometimes you can just say say what you feel. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to know when you're going to avoid a fight. Okay. It's not a it's not a one size fit all solution, but sometimes it's just it just ain't worth it. It okay. just ain't worth it. You. The, the chicken you cooked a little dry, I'm going to choke it down with a glass of water. Okay. I might say later on, I said, that, baby, that chicken was just a little bit dry. But, okay. Because if I, if I say it then, she won't get mad at me and not cook. And you might want a little something else to eat and might want some dessert. I got you. Exactly. So it's not, it, it's not doing it to be malicious. It's not doing it to be deceitful it's doing it sometimes you just gotta say something or say nothing and to get it on but that's not i'm not saying it's right i did not you did not hear me say that it was right i say but that's what we do gotcha all right well, now, Dr. Hill, it's, no, but it, hold on hold on hold on if she comes in that room wearing some something you don't like but you still want some you're going to tell her it look good I'm a, I ain't gonna say nothing. So you gonna snatch it off and do what you gotta go. do. You gonna snatch it off. Let me tell you something. And y'all been together forever. Let me tell you, if you were, if you're that comfortable, you just look at her, go in the kitchen, get a brown paper bag, put her in a head, bend it over, and then you do it. See? And then you tell her later, nah, that wasn't a good look. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Danny, you wrong for that. Danny. No, no. If she's wearing something in that room that you don't like, just take it off. Why you gotta go through all of that? I'm just saying, so she won't pull it out again. No, he. So why oh, you I, got to put a brown paper 
paper bag over her head. Yeah. Think about it. All Anytime right. Anytime she pull that outfit out, pull that brown paper bag out. Alcohol cures it all. <laughs> okay. Alcohol cures it morning, all. When you wake up in the morning, it's still going to be the same. Welcome to all our newcomers. I see Ryan on the board. I'm not going to call you out. I see Marilyn. Who else? I saw some other names. iPhone 83. We welcome all of you. And you know what? We are just really comfortable in our skin here at Upscale Love for You. So don't think we're just off by a tad bit. The only person that may be off just a little bit would be Danny. But he's one of our regulars. And, you know, we just accept everyone the way they are. Come as you are. You know, in church, come as you are. That's what we expect from all of you. So continue on, Dr. Feel Good. You know, I just jump in. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Feel Good, do you hear me? No, I'm looking at you just like, okay, you just, you just, you just was preaching church. Mm, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got you. But come as you are, Dr. Way, though, like I said, go ahead, Lady T. I'm sorry. No, no. I said, come as you are. Just bring it home. Mm. And, and that's the thing, is that be as honest as you can be. Sometimes you're going to tell people things they don't want to hear, but most of the time they'll respect you for it. If you got to always lie to a person, you don't you don't get respect. You lose, you lose respect because if they find out that you've been lying to them about one thing, what other thing that you told them that wasn't a lie? Okay. So, it's so honesty is a great policy. Now, you don't have to be brutal, but be honest, be transparent as you can be. But you ain't got to be brutal. If 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 she looking like twelve days of decomp, don't say it in front of her friends. Say that one more time. Twelve if she, days. If she's what? looking like twelve days of decomposition. Oh, oh okay. But that means mm -hmm. she busted. Okay. Yeah. Oh. She. It, I mean, don't say that in front of her friends. You need to tell her though. And and then you know, a lot of times you see you see your lady or you see your dude going out, and you say, "Are you really going to wear that?" Are you really going to wear that? And you're like, well, no. I'm, I mean, I, I think I look, no, 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 you're not going out the house like that. That's not trying to be controlling. That's just like, why are you doing that? That's respect. I think that's sexy, Dr. Feel Good, when, you know, my husband say, no, 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 you're not going out the house like that, babe. Go change your clothes. I'm like, okay, I can be exactly. submissive. Exactly. And, and and if he was going out there with some gray sweatpants with no drawers on, you're going to be like, where well, do you think you're going looking like a hoe? Oh, okay. okay. All right. So Lady okay. T looking at you, right? Lady T. Huh? <laughs> he paying attention. He paying attention. <laughs> who? Who? Dr. Feelgood? No, your husband. Oh, your husband. She's talking about your uh, husband. Oh. You're not going but, out but the, idea like is, that. the idea is, is that it's always good to be honest, but you don't have to be brutal. If you could always, there's a tactful way without sugarcoating it, there's a tactful way to tell people that they effed up. If it's your breath, what you're wearing, you know, you got a booger hanging out of your nose. Oh, not the A booger. true person who really cares about you will not let you look bad. That's true. Regardless. That's true. what true. Here's a piece of Absolutely. I agree. Yes. So if I if I don't care about you, I'm gonna let you go out any way you want. Oh, so you're gonna go out with, with dental floss and toothpicks? Go ahead. I don't give a damn because you ain't mine. Oh. Mm. Well, Dr. Phil, I wanna go out in a, I wanna go out in a pit in a European speedo, me being me being melanated. Don't and you do say, it. Though. You don't say anything. <laughs> you don't care about me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you know speedos wasn't made for non melanated, were made melanated people. Okay, I didn't like that visual, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, I was trying to catch a grass of the two pigs and the uh, dental. No, floor. honey, the speedo is what took me home. The speedo. Okay, oh, how about banana hammock? 
Oh, no. Hey, shake it like, shake your money maker. <laughs> oh, okay, back okay. to you, Dr. Fab. I'm done. But, okay, well, Dr. Feel So Good is done tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. When you tell the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth, guess what? It'll work. But if you're one of those ones, like Danny, who says you got to ask the right questions at the right time, and if you don't ask, he won't tell, then mm, you got to really think about that. Where is this relationship going? Because I- Why you got to think about it? Because you asking all the wrong questions. No, because I feel like if it's 50-50 and you- hitting the bat for a home run you don't even have to ask no questions it shouldn't have to be any questions asked okay so listen 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 i'm listening i'm listening if you're asking me about something that's not happening mm -hmm. you're asking me about something and i'm playing along with it just running along with it i'm wrong for that mm -hmm. no 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 your mate or your person that's asking you these questions because she feels like you're doing something is something that you have done that has given her the intuition or the feeling of that you may be doing something. Now, I put on gray sweatpants. You put on them gray sweats. Look, I got, them, I got them. I got them maroon right now. Can, yeah. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So what I'm saying to you is your mate, if she has to question what you're doing, something could be going on, but then you have some that will accuse you of doing something and you're not doing anything. And guess what? The person will start doing it because you continuously accuse them. So when it's all said and done, when you're working on a relationship, communication is key. And you got to talk about anything and everything to make sure it works. And Danny, I hope- okay, Question, question. Uh -huh. How about how about a long distance? Because that's what I'm in right now. You know, long distance long... relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, those relationships, guess what? It starts with trust because you can't be with that individual 24-7 and she can't be with you 24-7. So your key relation source right there is trust. And she's trusting you that you're going to do what you need to do to keep this relationship 100 and she should be doing the same, right? Right. Anybody, anybody else got something to say? I totally, totally agree with you, Dr. Fabulous. And then also, Danny, it's fun. Like when you guys meet up, you put your creativity into the relationship, you know? You don't just, hey, have sex and just, you know, going about your business. You sit, you talk, you have a lot to catch up on, you know? So I think it's a, a smart move. Okay, so we hear ourselves coming back second time around. It's always good in two parts, but nevertheless, yes, Danny, I do believe that a long distance relationship can work if you want it to work. You just have to put your best foot forward and be honest to the situation. But now if you're in a long distance relationship, and you really, you really not into the person, you can become a cheater. So keep it real. Keep it 100, Danny. I'm going to keep, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. You gonna I'm, in Atlanta, I'm in Atlanta, Atlanta. Okay. I, I've been here eight months. I've been outside maybe six times. Oh, okay. I ain't doing nothing. Look. All right. And, but you know what, Danny, I'm getting ready to tell you now in Atlanta, is not the place to try to cheat because you might meet up and you may not get what you're looking for. <laughs> Read between the lines. <laughs> no, I don't oh, play cool. with those lines. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just telling you, keep it mm -hmm. real, keep it 100. So I'm going to give my take on the truth or tell a lie. I as I say, I believe in being honest at all times. That's just me. And certain things 
I feel that if you don't communicate with them about, it can fester and get larger and larger. So let's always keep it 100, tell the truth. And if you feel that you can't tell your partner the truth, you don't have open lines of communication, anything. Even if it's in the bedroom and you need to tell them the truth about that, tell it because one day you're going to get tired of faking it. So you work toward greatness by what? Communicating. And I'm going to ask my partners, we know that Special K had to leave early this evening, so she's not with us any longer, but I'm going to shoot it over to Lady T. And I would like for her to give her closing remarks. And we're going to come on over to you, Dr. Feel Good. And guess what? We're going to be out of this piece at 10 o'clock, straight up and down. <laughs> so Lady T, it's all on you. Thank you, Dr. Fabulous. One thing that I would like to say from a personal um, experience, when, when you're in a relationship and you're honest, sometimes, yes, it do hurt. But when you... um when you and your partner is like open to change and then you self self reflect, I think that works better. And you're like open to receive, to receive the change. So, you know, I just want to say to everyone out there, sometimes, sometimes it's not them. Sometimes it may be us. So you know, before you go and try to lie or try to change that person or try to accuse them of something, make sure you um, check yourself first. And Dr. Feelgood, let's close us out. Okay, um, great show, great show. I just wanna say, Thank you for everybody showing up. We have some old, some new, some borrowed, some blue. But hey, we're going to do what we do and make it do what it do. I want to thank my cousin Danny for always, for always having my back. He shows no slack. And he, of course, he's beautiful and black. Oh. I want to thank my, my CEO because she is sure in the know. Someone in the Yahoo, in the, in the YouTube said that Dr. Fab is a real one. So take that for what it's worth, because you're the most fabulous person maybe on this earth. Woo, you better shut up, Dr. Feelgood. Keep it, you keep it 100%. And I want you to know that your husband is heaven sent. He know he got a good thing and let it swing. I want to say to everybody else, do yourself. And of course, keep yourself first. Stay on your purpose. Stay on your grind. And I'm going to pass it to Dr. Fabulous, one more time. All right, now you hey, know Dr. Feelgood, you better. Dr. Feel, Dr. Feelgood is a rhymeologist, y'all. I make that word up, a rhymeologist. But I want to say to each and every one of you, um, Eduardo left out, but what I wanted to say to him, you know, we can discuss anything and it's okay not to agree. It's okay to agree not to agree, but when it's all said and done, we are all communicating here. We are all adults. And when you say certain things, I don't know if he left because he thought Lady T said something that he didn't totally agree with. But when you go back, I hope he goes back and watch the show um, on YouTube. You're welcome to say whatever you want to say because in the very beginning of Upscale Love, tantalizing talk coming on every Thursday night, it tells you in the very beginning, all opinions expressed is not the opinions and we are not held accountable for the opinions of upscale love for you. You say what you want to say from your heart because there are no right or wrong answers and an opinion is just that, an opinion. So Eduardo, wherever you are in TV land, YouTube land, Facebook land, please come back to Upscale Love for you because we want you to express yourself any way you want because it's called freedom of speech. 
as long as you keep it classy and not trashy, you're always welcome to come on to tantalize and talk. Now back to our question of the day, our topic was, is it okay or can you tell the truth in a relationship or do you have to lie? So with our closing thoughts, and I'll say it one more time, if you can't tell the truth to your mate, maybe that mate is not the one for you. Because if you have to lie and cover it up, guess what? It's not going anywhere but what? Down. Because you tell one lie to cover up one, you got to tell another. So let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. And guess what, y'all? You know what time it is. I'm ready to tell you smooches and what? Good night. Smooches. Mwah. Good night. You got to end the show.